court standing beneath the queen of the night. Yes, indeed. The full moon is here, and that's when they open. You know, she's an opiate. These guys are like the little poppies. Let's go inside this one over here. It's a little dark, huh? Anyway, look at that. The five is uh, always associated, of course, with Venus. That uh, every eight years she does a five-pointed star. I don't know if you're familiar with the Venus pentagram, but uh, there are a lot of flowers are associated. Mars is eight, Venus is five, Mercury is three. So this, this goes out through all the natural world. Anyway, <laughs> it's uh, June 27th of 2018, and the moon uh, is in Sagittarius. Uh, today, uh, she's going into Capricorn. And uh, as soon as she gets into Capricorn, we're going to have the full moon. Okay, uh, actually, that full moon is depends on where you are in the planet. Come on. God, you got the international dateline. It's different in Australia. I don't even know why I give the days. But the main thing is it's at 6 degrees 28 minutes of Capricorn. And that 6 degrees 28 minutes of Capricorn, okay, is also got what? Saturn. So the sun is opposite Saturn exactly today. Moves one degree a day. Then the moon comes in and catches. So we have a moon conjunct Saturn today. And then it goes just a little bit beyond, you know, because I think Saturn's around three or something. Yeah. And um, then it moves on. So that's our big one. Uh, Friday, Mercury moves into Leo. Do, 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 do. And, of course, as he does move into Leo, he is going to trine Chiron and square Uranus. That, ex that square to Uranus. Okay, is happening on Saturday. And what else is going on? You know, I mean, the moon's moving through Capricorn. Saturday, uh, she moves into Aquarius and uh, stays there through Aquarius, hits Mars, all right, and squares Uranus, squares Jupiter, opposes Venus, okay, and then on Monday, that moon goes into Pisces. Look at that. There's a star for you. All right, let me look at the camera and talk about this. All right, just like everybody else, man, I am in a hurry. <laughs> Let's face it. Sun opposite Saturn. Oh, my goodness. Saturn in the sign of Capricorn. Duty, responsibility. Okay, the moon moving into Capricorn. It's your job. It's your reputation. Duty is what you need to be doing for the world, for other people, for your family, for your business in order to survive. Physical, financial security, okay, you need to like, you know, get up and you need to be looking good. I mean, Saturn, structure, chronos, father time, rules the bones. Check it out, man. I got my Saturn <laughs> bones guy. <laughs> These are from the Nubia over there in southern Egypt, uh, the Nubians. These are made out of bones. I just did a medical astrology. I'm uploading it now, going through each one of the signs that is talking about. And I just take the uh, medical correlations uh, to each one of the signs. I'm going to get that up, uh, up and out. It's uh, been going out to the New Paradigm Astrology community. I don't know if you're in the community. I got this community, if you don't know about it, you know, it's people that are really into astrology and we got a forum and they get more videos, you know, every week and they're studying astrology. If you want to learn astrology with a bunch of people, check it out. But I'm also going to just put this thing up by itself. If you want to just, if you're interested in, yeah, the medical astrology. So Saturn is the knees, the kneecaps, the bones. Okay, arthritis, rheumatism, stiff. Okay, if you're feeling stiff these days, fits right in. <laughs> the moon now moving through Sagittarius. Sagittarius is the thighs, but is also associated with the liver. 
and the blood and the circulation of the blood, the purification of the blood. So you know, even you can watch the moon move through these different signs and you, you could just, you know, watch all of your ailments come up. <laughs> Yeah, life is short. But anyway, come on, let's look at this. Sun opposite Saturn, okay, with the moon coming around also. Okay, moon Saturn. You know, people with moon Saturn conjunction squares and oppositions. This is what? The moon is my inner child. It's my feelings, okay? It's my innocent, you know, need for emotional connection and nurturing. And then it comes around to Saturn and Saturn says... Okay, later, you've got a job to do. Okay, there's more important things going on. Uh, so it's, you know, it can be repressed emotions, repressed feelings, sadness, loneliness. Okay, just feelings of isolation. And then the, you know, and the sun comes around. Now the sun, I think I mentioned this before, the sun was conjunct Saturn around Christmas. Okay, you know, right around the solstice. All right, the sun came into Capricorn, you know, 21 degrees. I mean, 21, uh, December 21st, the solstice. Sun goes into Capricorn, it hit Saturn. That was a seed, that was a time, that was a time of decisions, that was a time of, you know, uh, breakups or solidifying. This is the thing with Saturn. Saturn deals with goals, where do I want to be? Who do I, what do I want to be doing? Who do I want to be with? 7, 14, 21, 28 years from now. I want to lock it in. I want to make contracts. And if I don't see you as part of my goal or as part of my future, then I'm going to break that contract. I'm going to break that relationship. I'm going to quit that job. I'm going to you know, leave that company and start a new company. So it has to do with comings and goings. The breaking and ending of contracts and the signing of new contracts. So, you know, there were these decisions happening, okay, around, uh, you know, around late December of last year. And now the sun comes around for the full, it's like a full moon, the opposition. So it, it's time to review. It's time to go back. Saturn has to do with the past. And it has to do with reflection, this is where the moon and Saturn come together because they both have a little bit to do with the past and a little bit to do with reflection. So there's this, there is this reflecting on my past and, of course, where that brings me now, what my needs are, and how I can best fulfill those needs. Yeah, uh, you know, yeah, along a future path. It's kind of a serious, sobering time. So today, tomorrow, Thursday, Friday, you know, it's a time to reflect. It's a time to go inward. It may be a time of, you know, really being serious, you know, having, you know, having some counseling. And what's the other thing that can happen with Capricorn and Saturn? The workaholic, okay, that says, I don't want to feel my feelings, I, you know, uh, you know and, and this has to do with grief, okay? Saturn and the moon coming together can have to do with grief at loss, you know, of the, you know, of things that happened in the past, of sad memories. And if I don't want to feel those feelings, okay, I can be a workaholic, okay? I, you know, the job is a perfect excuse. I have too many duties and too many responsibilities, okay, you know, to so many other people, and I'm needed, and I'm important, and I've got a reputation, and blah, 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 blah. And sometimes, I'm not saying all the time, but a lot of the times, work can be used as an avoidance of the sun moving through cancer, my personal life. So this is really stretching us yeah, to balance our professional with our personal, okay? You know, the external with the internal, the job with the family. So it's just really, are you in balance? If you're in balance, then this opposition is not that much of a big thing, okay? If you're out of balance, then you're going to feel it. And that's what this mantra is for today. Saturn is having to do with tests, 
obstacles, limitations, blocks, says, bam, stop it. Okay. You know, you're not allowed as like detour, you know, you're, it's like you're driving down the street and all of a sudden, you know, you want to, you know, you want to go straight and there's a detour. Okay. Saturn just says, boom, you're not going down that road. And then you come into this decision. Okay. Should I go around that detour sign? No. <laughs> I, I don't do that anymore. I, <laughs> I used to, but no. <laughs> but what I'm saying is you do have a choice. Do I confront? Do I push? Do I try to control Okay, my environment, my relationships, other people. This is where Capricorn and Saturn has to do with, you know, controlling their environment, feeling safe in a position of power and authority, all right, that delegates and is in charge, feeling safer that way. Okay, so, you know, do I really, you know, um, butt up against like the goat or the ram? And push up against this obstacle, this limitation that's blocking me? Or do I follow the detour sign, you know, and shh, take a right, take a left, you know, uh, you know, t take another route? So this is where Saturn has to do with reflection. And of course, Jeffrey Green talks about how they call reflection depression these days. And it, it doesn't have to be depression. And you don't need to go to the doctor. Okay, if you feel like taking some time off of work and contemplating your life, it's important. You deserve it. It's not depression. It's growing up. It's maturity. It's reflection, contemplation, and meditation. <laughs> and in the old days, before the internet, and before all this technology, and before everything was going a million miles an hour, you know, people used to contemplate quite a bit. And, th and there wasn't so much depression. <laughs> Probably. <laughs> there was more contemplation than depression. Anyway, I'm getting a little silly because I just, you know, it's, uh, anyway, yeah. So, Think about it. Think about it. Reflect on it. <laughs> and if you want to do some reflection, take a day off of work and meditate and go for a walk in the mountains. And, you know, and, you know, if people ask you if you're depressed, you say, no, I'm not depressed, man. I'm contemplating my life. Why don't you try it? This is this is what Saturn says. Yeah. So and then let's look at this Mercury. Mercury moving into Leo. Okay, I mean, it's been opposite Black Moon Lilith. It was opposite Pluto, okay? You know, there's been, you know, talk about deep thinking and communication. Things will be lightening up. That moon, like I said, moves into Aquarius. You know, it's going to speed up. It's like we have this dip in the road. We have this kind of a lull going on, okay? Wednesday, Thursday, Friday. By Saturday, Sunday, you know, moon's going to move out of Capricorn. Mercury's going to move into Leo. We're going to have, you know, things are going to be more fiery, more airy, you know, jumping, moving, everything kind of, you know, bop, 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 bopping along. So, you know, now's the time where you might be signing the contract to buy the house. House, okay, you know, and then this weekend you're moving into the house. <laughs> so, you know, just look at this, you know, th this is a time and don't worry about it. It's not going on forever. It's, there's, you know, there's everything is all of these cycles. It may be a time where you recommit. Something went around around Christmas or this, that, or the, you know, around New Year's. You made a New Year's resolution or something. Now you're coming back reflecting on it and you're committing even deeper or harder or, you know, uh, you know, more, you know, to a new, you know, business relationship enterprise or whatever. So I got to run, man. I got a, I got a million things to do today. I got readings. I'm doing a webinar for a master class, Astrology Hub. Uh, is going on, uh, you know, tonight, and then uh, I got to go get get my Costa Rica driver's license. I mean, things just like are piling up on top of each other. So, you know, part of it is just, you know, they have patience, endurance, take your time, don't feel too burdened or heavy. Just, it's just business. Don't take it personally. This is the other thing that can happen with Moon Saturn. 
is you know they, they take it personally okay like life is against me or I'm having so many problems because and it's just like no just slow down grow up have patience just do one thing at a time check your list off one at a time and you will make it you'll be glad that you did hold to those commitments you can do it it's just a test it will pass this too shall pass and you will be better off yeah things take time endurance and patience Rome was not built in a day I think of the Golden Gate Bridge I think of you know these you know massive buildings in Dubai the highest ones in the world or whatever these th stuff takes time building community takes time building relationships takes time it takes forever <laughs> Anyway, if I'm feeling stopped or blocked, something holding me back, it may be spirit guiding me towards another track. You know what I'm saying? It's that detour sign. Sometimes, so when you get stopped, sometimes you get laid up in a hospital bed, okay? You're being held back. Sometimes there's, especially with an opposition, there's a particular person blocking you. You know, there's the, like the boss will not give you the raise or it's just like, you know, get out of here, whatever. You're not, you know, uh, you know, there's an actual person involved with this holding you back, blocking you or stopping you. And it's spirit telling you, reflect really think about what you're doing what is your soul purpose what is the deeper meaning of life to get it you know moons in sagittarius right now you know get in touch with your truth and maybe you don't want that job maybe you're just going for that raise to get more money to be more financially secure but it's not your soul purpose so it's a good thing to reflect and get in touch with your deeper soul intention. That's what this can be about. And you may find that it's time for you to change direction, break that contract, and set a new goal. Good time for setting new goals and reviewing your goals. Take a little time out this weekend. Review those goals at the full moon. Become illuminated, grasshopper. So if I'm feeling stopped or blocked, something holding me back, it may be spirit guiding me towards another track. Check it out. Namaste. Aloha. So much. Oh. <laughs>